Hello and welcome to ZAPYard.com. We are ready with our next course SAP Business Workflow for Beginners. If you are newbie to SAP Workflow or if you are already working in SAP Workflow but want to master the topic, you should surely consider this course. This course is different and our approach of teaching SAP Workflow will help you grasp the concepts and use them in your real project scenarios. If you are watching this video and you are interested in getting practical training on implementing SAP Business Workflow, you won't be disappointed. This is a hands-on practical instructor-led live training where all participants would need to practice the lessons in the SAP training server during the live classes under the watchful eyes of our trainer and GAP Yard support team members. In short, we will force you to come prepared for the classes and do hands-on during the class itself. If you put little effort and time, we are positive you will start becoming comfortable and confident in working on SAP workflow development objects in your real SAP projects. Our trainer will explain the traditional paper-based workflow and its limitations. He will then explain SAP workflow and its advantages. A full shoot of modeling elements are available to pick and drop into the workflow definition. The trainer will talk about the different types of branches, loops, tasks and escalation paths that can be automated in workflow. We will then create our first workflow. Every participant will need to create this workflow in the class before the training proceeds to the next topic. Workflow is that one area of SAP which we can learn only when we make our hands dirty in the SAP system. Just understanding the concepts and learning theories will not help. Next, the trainer will talk in more depth how to make your SAP system ready for SAP business workflow and the architecture of SAP workflow. When we work in SAP workflow, we would get comfortable with terms like workflow definition, task, items, agents, containers, binding, etc. Our trainer will explain in details its definition and its usages. He will also talk about Business Workflow Explorer and Automatic Workflow Customizing. He will showcase the different process logs like the Graphical Workflow Definition, Summary Report used by the Operational Users, Chronological Log mostly used for auditing, and Technical View used by developers for debugging a process. Business Objects or more appropriately Business Object Repository or BOR Objects integrate the data and functions of business applications into the workflow. In simple words, business objects are important interface between the workflow and the business application in SAP components. I might have confused you. Do not worry. Our trainer will clarify with practical use case what BOR objects are. He will talk about the different types of BOR objects, how to create traditional custom BOR objects and also how to create class-based custom bar objects. With real use cases, he will show how to inherit and delegate business objects. Yes, the object-oriented concepts come real handy while working in SAP workflow. Before the trainer wraps this topic, he will showcase how to trigger standard bar object events. This is a very important concept. If you understand and learn this, you can master most of the SAP workflow concepts. Next, the trainer will walk you through all the important transactions needed in SAP Business Workflow. He will start with development T-codes, followed by administration T-codes, monitoring and troubleshooting transactions, and many other useful T-codes. One of our very good friend and workflow expert always says, SAP Workflow is 40% development and 60% testing. The more you test, the better workflow you design and develop. All these T codes would help all workflow consultants to build better workflow products. We know the developers would be expecting to learn the custom workflow development in details. Do not worry, we will not disappoint you. We will surely increase the complexity of the practical hands on sessions and develop some interesting business workflows. We will master the importance of events in SAP workflow. We will make use of almost all the tasks available in our workflow builders and then we will talk about binding. It can be container binding or task binding. It can be outbound or inbound. Right agent determination and assignment is heart of any SAP workflow. We will talk about this process in details. 
The trainer will continue in depth with agent determinations. He will talk about possible agents, responsible agents and excluded agents. He will explain the difference between dialogue and non-dialogue methods. He will also clarify the concepts of synchronous and asynchronous methods and tasks. We will see all these concepts in action using our custom SAP workflow development. As stressed earlier, in SAP workflow development, we need to give more time for testing and analyzing. There has to be both positive and negative testing. And analyzing SAP workflow and testing and debugging is one skill which every SAP developer should have in his or her, her arsenal. The trainer has a dedicated day and session to go through this testing, debugging and workflow analyzing. This is one topic which you cannot afford to miss. Before we end the training, we will build one custom workflow end to end. It will be a real case scenario and all participants have to follow the software lifecycle design methodology. The trainer will explain how a typical workflow requirement comes in real projects. He will stress the importance of building the flow in pen and paper and debating on the different ifs and buts in the workflow even before you actually open the workflow builder transaction in SAP. Once you have done the brainstorming session with the stakeholders and business owners, you need to start the actual workflow development work. To be honest, once you have all the concepts of SAP workflow, designing and developing custom workflow is not that difficult. You have to remove your developer's hat and think like a business user while developing your SAP business workflow. We are positive. The hands-on practical which you will do during the live sessions will help you dive deep into SAP workflow developments. On top of it, we have weekly assignments which, which all participants need to submit. These assignments are curated with special care to test the knowledge of the participants and also help them move one step closer to becoming a confident SAP workflow developer. Let us look into some important date, time and other information. The first day of the training is on September 18th, 2021 at 7.30 a.m. IST. This time is GMT plus 5.5 hours. So if you are in Europe, Africa or West Asia, you might not be able to join the live classes. This time suits better for participants from Indian subcontinent, East Asia, Australia, New Zealand, North and South America. We are open for registration till 8th September 2021 and the payment of fee and enrollment process should be complete by 13th September 2021. The link to enroll for this training is in the description section of this video. Each class will be little over 2.5 hours and the whole course will be around 25 hours. Recordings of the class will be provided after every live session and the participants will have lifetime access to these recordings. The S4HANA 1809 server access will be provided till October 31st, 2021. The server access is included in the training fee and you do not need to pay anything extra for it. Please check the description section of this video for the course fee and other details. Also, there is a prerequisite for this course that you need to have prior knowledge of normal SAP ABAP programming. If you still have any queries, questions, feel free to WhatsApp us at plus one two five one seven two seven nine two seven three or email us at mailzapyard at gmail.com or mail at zapyard.com. Thank you very much. Stay safe and see you live on the training day.